Hey everybody, Johnny Be Good here. Good afternoon, greetings once again. We are located in Allentown, Allentown, Wisconsin. I used to pronounce this place Allentown, Wisconsin. Turns out I was missing a W. Uh, so, it, yep, it's just Allentown. Wisconsin. All right, we are on our way to Fredericks, Maryland, to uh, our yard, which is 784 miles from here. Right now, we're going to be merging onto Interstate 41. We have somewhere about 29 to 30,000 pounds of uh, frozen pizzas. Oh, by the way, um, once again, I would like to say hello and greetings to Gary Floyd. Gary, I hope you are watching this. I hope you are well. I hope that the Lord Jesus Christ will bless your heart and draw you near his heart. I also want to uh, address a question. Somebody from Nebraska, I can't remember who. I know I gotta write these things down, right? Somebody from Nebraska is interested in a ride-along. How cool is that? Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll, I'll ask the boss. I'll ask little, uh, little Al, see what uh, he says, but I don't see that to be a problem, I don't know, I'll have to check it with him. Chances are you'll probably, if we were to do this, chances are we're going to meet you in uh, Indiana somewhere. Sheboygan, I guess. You could leave your car over there or however you want to get there. Boy, how long has it been since uh, remember his name now. Toby. How long has it been since Toby rode along? You know, we got to call Toby up and get an update to what he's been doing. Remember Toby I know many of you out there don't know or don't under, don't know this story, but a while back, maybe about two years ago, Toby is a, uh, a school teacher and also a subscriber of mine that really, really got sick and tired of his job teaching. Now he's not a teacher for the kids. He's a teacher for the teachers. He teaches teachers how to integrate the technologies and all the mumbo jumbo uh, within the school system. He teaches them how to do the program and ins and out of 
you know, like he's kind of like the IT guy. So anyway, he was, uh, I think he's been on a job for like 15 years. He's got his roots all grounded up in public school. But to him, it was the most boring, worst job. And he couldn't wait to get out. And he wanted to drive a truck. He had an itch that no matter how much he tried to turn it off, it just wouldn't go away. And it just so happened that uh, I put out a video that says, so you want to become a truck driver? And I was telling people that uh, before you invest your money in truck driving school, find somebody in your local town that will be willing to give you a ride. That way, you, before you spend that four or $5,000 of school tuition, you kind of really know what you're getting into. If it, you know, if trucking is really for you or if it's not, I mean, $5,000 is a lot of money to invest and you turn out, no, trucking ain't for me. So anyway, I put out a video, it says, uh, find a local truck driver in your neighborhood, ask them for a ride. And I said, if not, you know, give me a call or send me a message. And sure enough, there's a guy from Indiana named Toby. Sends me a message and says, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to ride. So I picked up Toby in Joliet, Illinois. Toby and I went truck driving for two weeks. I remember I brought him all the way to Boise, Idaho. And I don't know if we ever got down to Salt Lake, but we were out like out northwest and uh, there was a cool guy, non-smoker. The only thing he ate was peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, Toby got to experience the long, boring 34-hour wait. Uh, he got to experience blizzards. He even got to experience chaining up the tires. And by the time we got home, no matter how much I tried to sway him not to become a truck driver, because, well, Toby's got a lot to lose. He's, he's in a public school, great paying job, great benefits. It's not like he can just uproot and go, you know, go trucking and if it doesn't work out, go back in it. it. But no matter, no matter how, how hard I try to sway him not to go to truck driving, he just couldn't get rid of that itch. So he went back home, went through one more year of school, and I guess last summer, he enrolled in truck driving school. See, what Toby does is every summer when, when the school is out, Toby would drive his uh, personal vehicle, a car. I think it was a Honda. And he would just go all over the United States by himself. Um, he's been up to Maine, he's been up to Seattle, San Francisco, wherever. That would be his vacation every summer. 
And I told Toby, you know what? Why don't you skip this year's tour? Spend that money, the money that you're gonna spend for the tour, spend that money in truck driving school and just go get your CDL. Whether you're gonna become a truck driver or not, it'd be, you know, it'll be uh, kind of better for you. So he did. He uh, he went to truck driving school. He did very good. I think he was top of his class. He started applying for a job while he was still in school. He got a couple of offers. And I think it was like April that he already informed the school board that he was gonna be uh, leaving. And for some reason, <laughs> the school board you know, offered him a, a better pay, asked him to stay, and gave him a better position somehow. And so I guess he's back to school, uh, teaching teachers. You know, one of the things that I, I I relish about my job and this YouTube video is the number of people that decided not to go to truck driving school because of my videos. I mean, it's the long, boring wait. You know, the, uh, the truth about truck driving. They, they finally decided, oh, that's not for me. And yet there are also driver uh, people out there that decided to become truck drivers because of my YouTube videos. And to me, that's job accomplished. So yeah, back to the topic of uh, the writer program or the ride along I don't know I, I don't see why not I mean, if little Al says no problem let's do it oh look at the time once again I have wasted your precious time watching and listening to my silly nonsense. Anyway, this video is brought to you by Milk Biscuit. Guaranteed to whiten your teeth, make your skin feel like butter, and make you think you're above average. Milk Biscuit, available at your grocery store. Peace. Ha ha ha. Right, Barb? I forgot to turn the uh, remote on. <laughs> Later.